By the time NASA astronauts Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert suited up for the Apollo 13 mission in April 1970, space travel, and even landing on the moon, had started to become a regular run-of-the-mill event. Ignition flight. But soon after liftoff, the Apollo 13 mission was anything but routine. An oxygen tank exploded, crippling the spacecraft, forcing Jim Lovell to give up his dream of landing on the lunar surface. Uh, I was very frustrated when I didn't land and I had to abort the, the flight. What followed the initial explosion was three harrowing days as NASA flight engineers on the ground worked to bring the Apollo 13 crew safely back to Earth. It was really a, uh, a strong case of uh, good leadership and teamwork. Uh, in fact, a, you know, a classic case of crisis management. Astronaut Michael Collins, who piloted the 1969 Apollo 11 mission that first landed on the moon, says Apollo 13 was a wake-up call. It made NASA and the American public more aware of some of the hazards involved in flying to the moon and back. Traveling to the moon did not end with Apollo 13. There were four more successful missions before the Apollo program ended in 1972. Jerry Griffin was a NASA flight director for the final moon landing. I said, you know, I can, we're on a roll in this country. We'll be on the, we'll probably be at Mars in 20 years. That was 1972, which would have been 1992. And uh, we didn't make it. So I'm surprised we haven't. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a shame that we just haven't been able to get the national will and, and leadership to, uh, to make it happen. At Chicago's Adler Planetarium, the accomplishments of NASA's Gemini and Apollo missions are on display as part of a new exhibit titled Mission Moon. It showcases memorabilia from Lovell's career as an astronaut. Quite a few of the population just here coming through the Adler Planetarium wasn't around when uh, we actually did our uh, Apollo flights. Which is why Lovell wants to see NASA send astronauts back to the moon. Once we're comfortable landing on the moon and exploring the moon, and uh, then I could think we should go to Mars. And that's, of course, years and years away, I think. And even though Lovell never reached the moon, he has no regrets. I'm now really happy that uh, the 13 ended up the way it did. Uh, because just think, uh, if there was a third lunar landing flight, uh, it wouldn't have been uh, all these uh, celebrations we've had. Hey, we've got a problem here. And there might never have been a movie based on Lovell's extraordinary drama in space. Houston, we have a problem. The 1995 Tom Hanks film, entitled Apollo 13. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois.